up, the main rods up, the cross tube, spit all the valve gear, and then move it and set the valve timing. We had to do all that in a day. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it came That's out right, it seems. Oh, yeah. Where you're at. Yeah, the other little you know, lead. The other little tram point that we make right there. And you open the port point, and you set the disconnect the combination line. And you move the engine back and forth, and as you're moving it, you drive these lines. And the difference in this dimension here is the difference if you've got to set this valve and adjust it, so it'll be right on. You notice the valve timing on the 844 is just exact. That's exactly the time. That's why we, how we time it that way. And you can set it exactly dead on. So when you hear that 844, open up There's no little gap or little lag in there. It's perfectly fine. So the valve events are working exactly as they're supposed to. We did the same thing on this. Only difference is you can't hear it because of two engines working. You can't really tell that sequence, but it's timed exact. It's actually pretty quick to do. So, compare that back to the 1940s. We did the same thing. I know, but are you, how much better are you? <laughs> I would say it's better because they they set the valve. The valve event must be very accurate for the engine not to run. It, it's just it's like the automobile. The valve timing is off. You know, like you're going to get four fuel economy. You're going to get anything else. You're going to get the cylinder firing when you don't want to. Cost releasing when it shouldn't. So it's pretty much more the same way. No. So if you hear a steam engine, just touch it. Touch it. Touch it. It'll still run. Yeah, but if That's you're pulling case, a really yeah. heavy train, you're, you're not going to be able to pull maximum time because each one of those power impulses needs to be exactly the size to work with those other three. If you've got one of them that's off, that's when that engine's going to stall or slip. Because one will be more powerful than the other. Now we're not really concerned about that. We're not always concerned about that. But over time, it makes a difference on it. Plus, we like how it sounds. There's nothing worse than an engine that's not just called square. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You've got to be timed just right. Slip out of timing after you can release? Nope. Once it's locked in, it's there. Okay. And all this stuff is all designed very specifically, so if all these dimensions are the same, now if something happens and one of these gets bent, well that's going to change something. But your centric train throw, all that stuff is already established. The lace line is in. We have to this relationship right here with this shaft right there. So one of the things we had to do, we had to put the link blocks both down at a very specific point in the length. And we had the major dimension between those two pins and take that off and then adjust it to that precise dimension and then put it back up. So both engines are in sequence with each other. Yeah, the one in the weather, all that kind of thing. It doesn't affect it because it goes through the center part right there. And that point, there's a little cross head right on the inside and there's a swivel point on that reverse shaft, it's the same axis and the same line of the hinge pin. Okay. So there's a very, very slight variation in this thing, but it's not enough to match. So the earlier engines, they didn't have that. They had the reverse shaft and everything running on the outside of the engine, and they had a big length on the side where that, that stuff would slide along as the engine. Well, that's a lot of work. And they, over time, they just built all that. So we rebuilt the process, all the pins and which and everything really tight. Everything all these areas right here, all these bearings here, we took them in the ground, we machined these shafts, so everything is exactly round and we can get these shafts. So all that is all lined up exactly right, and all these pins are going to be good. We built the reverse chair. Together, and ran. So we're hoping it runs good. But we rebuilt everything exactly to the blueprint and made everything. And some of this we rebuilt a long time ago. So when it came time to put it together, and we didn't have to mess around with it. Some of it we did. Some of it we had to 
we have the shim used here. You know, that's normal. You gotta put some shims in here. We made all new packing for the valve rod, all new packing for the piston rods. So all those springs, we have those made custom. And we made all the, all the internal guts. If you keep none of that's available anymore, <laughs> it's all worn out. The same thing on the 844, piston packing on the right side is blowing really bad. We gotta do the same thing, but you gotta take all this apart, and that's a pretty big job. Mm -hmm. to kind of What's the pack? It looks bad, it sounds bad, but you know, you just have to fix it in the So, so did everything that is original come off the 4014, or did you borrow parts from some of the others that are around? No. The only parts that we bought are we took the front cover off the 4004. <laughs> right there in China. Yeah. And we went there and the city gave us permission and we went to swap those cuts out of it. The one on this one was pretty worn out. But other than that, it's all the same parts that it came with when we got it from California. Okay. One part that's interesting, I live near Salem, Oregon. Seeing that sign, yeah. Yeah. it's going to Salem, Oregon. I can't imagine anybody in Salem, Oregon. Well, we had to talk it into making those for us. Um, they used to make big springs all the time, and they, they re retooled their shop, and they were getting rid of all that old junk. Oh, we don't need all that old stuff. And they took a little bit of talking, but thankfully they, they, they made them. Because Germany wouldn't do it. Great Britain wouldn't do it. The only place, the only, I, I didn't talk to the Russians. <laughs> If we could get the Russians call Vladimir Putin and see if he if he's got somebody that can make these springs. Thanks, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You can make springs like that. Why don't you make some springs? Interesting your comments the time you had to run it in, which is oh, yeah. just a matter of days. Yeah, we took expansion joint here, we took all that apart, mm -hmm. welded everything up, lined it with bronze board everything same thing here all new valve bushings so two weeks ago you could look through the valve chest and the cylinders were out the pistons were out yeah yeah we're like all right now the wire is going to so on the way back home is this going to pull or is it all going to be 844 it pulled on the way out here okay just with all the locomotives and this thing to the green working hard it just from the from the cab, the atomizer is pretty loud. They put you here now. Right. In the cab, it's really it's a lot louder than it's the way it's got a lot of brick on the inside of it to absorb the heat of that that flame because it has to produce 7,000 horsepower. So you want to be able to have that flame have the firebox protected from the heat of the flame. The direct heat of the flame. Yeah. It's the same thing in the 844. We modified the original, original wall that they have in this arrangement. I just kind of match that. Come on! One times two in this It's probably about 7,000 pounds of work. Okay. I'll put in by most twenty foot by two, foot by foot. What kind of holder do they use for that? It's a special refractory cement called Sarah, so it's a very tiny refractory Does it lay there by its own or is it fastened no, somehow? It's all, it's all holder Just, in. okay. We've got one row like this, you know, you like to have, and then there's staggered. I like making a fireplace. You know, you just put it all up in there. And we have designed it, so it's got a paper in it. Paper arrangement. We had to fix all that to lay it all in there. And we had to cut a lot of bread to get it to fit in. So is it on the same grade or not the grade? No, it's higher brick thing. It's below the level of where the grade is. You can see the grade right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just mean all your brick. So I mean, well, they were running on coal, the brick was way up high. There was no brick, but it was brick on the arches on um, the circular. But there wasn't any brick down the arch. We have what's called a beam wall, it's a very strong, and that just kept the fire from going right into the tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we just modified that a little bit.